Um, I think the lighting on my family is better, which is cool, because I want to really highlight them and things like, like that. Shout out to the beautiful people out there. My lighting is so bad, man. Let me... Yeah, shout out to the beautiful people out there. If my voice sounds different, it's because I, I got, like, allergies, man. My allergies is, is getting me right now, family, but it's all good. Um, peace and love to all the family out there. Shout out to all our members. Shout out to all our subscribers. Shout out to everybody who is currently in the building, like Claudia Valburn. Shout out to you, family. We out here, you know what I'm saying? We um, eating a late night snack. I know it look like we always eating out here, you know. But um, that's what it is. Shout out to Malika Muhammad, who is currently in the building, family. Yeah. To Tunisia Milner. Shout out to you, family. Peace and love, family. Y'all look good as usual. Thank you, family. So um, y'all know who I am. Y'all know who the face is. It's Aaron Bellucci. You know what I mean? We out here still in Bujumbura, Burundi. You know, kicking it. We had a good day today. Met up with some cool people. You know, and... um. It's a beautiful country. It's definitely worth the visit. Let me fix this. This is at an angle. I'm trying to fix this for you. Yeah, but um, it's definitely a beautiful country. Definitely worth a visit. You know, but before I keep running my mouth, I'm going to have to introduce the lovely family. We got Ayla in the building. See, the lighting's good on y'all. Oh, God. That's yours. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm Ayla. Yeah, and we're here tonight, you know, eating, grubbing while we're waiting for the food, but drinking some tea to see is good. Yeah. yeah. And now we have another special guest yes. that we would like to introduce. Yours truly. <laughs> they so crazy. <laughs> Peace, love, and light. Peace, love, and light. Gotta love it. Love my family. And um, it's great to be here um, all as one together again in, um, in this beautiful city of Bujumbura, Burundi at night, about to dine. And um, yeah, it's a nice night, nice night, nice breeze and the view behind me is, is stunning. But yeah, we are here, yes. And shout out to everybody who's in the building right now, who's checking us out. Peace and love to you guys. Yes. And, uh, oh, while I'm at it, I want to take care of some business. So uh, I want you guys to check out uh, a, just a new clothing line out. Clothing, <laughs> clothing line. Yes. Um, <laughs> they laughing at me. All right. So um, give me a second here. So for all the kings and queens who need some new drip, you want to check out... Um, Amoretic.com, and that's A M O R E D I C.com. And um, this is a new clothing line. They have um, items for men, women, children, things for the home. Um, they have, uh, like I said, home goods, uh, shoes, accessories, and um, a special in my bag collection. And so this company is a, a new. Uh, uh, clothing line or brand, and uh, it's created by the recording recording artist producer Melody Weaver. And Amoretic, as they say, means to be a successful, loving person of African descent, one who exudes good character. So definitely, I want you to check them out online right now. That's Amoretic.com. If you need some new gear, and that's for uh, ladies, the men, things for the home, accessories, and for the children. So. I love the uh, the branding, the design is all that. So I want you to check them out right now. Again, that's amoretic.com. And also, for those of you who um, are working on your future plans for your family, for your children, your children's children, you want to check out Legacy um, Productions LLC.com, where they have a plethora of like literature and um, different uh, things to read uh, to help you prepare for the future. Uh, for, you know, our elders leaving behind their legacy and their stories and different things and accounts that they want to leave to their grandchildren and their great-grandchildren. And even literature for young our young men and uh, young, young ladies. So I want you to check out uh, LegacyProductionsLLC.com for all the literature you need for family planning and for future events. Yes. yes. 
<clears throat> yes. Yeah, family. So that's what it is. The lighting is so bad here. I might not put it on me too much. So this is going to be like a uh, Ayla and Mickey kind of thing. I'm going to jump in there, like here and there, but my lighting is, is, is too bad, family. I, I, I really don't like to do that to y'all. You know, I like to have you all, you know, with nothing but crispiness. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If it was up to me, it'd be nothing but crispiness going on with the camera work. Yeah. But yeah, peace and love to the family who's out there. Um, nice to see you enjoying in my country and your country. Yeah, man, we love uh, Burundi. It's definitely a cool place. We've been having a great time so far. Shout out to Annette Copeland. Shout out to uh, Noella L. Dixon. Peace out to you and the family. Yeah. <laughs> peace and love, bro. Yeah. But um, the show today, we're not going to get exactly right into it but um we're gonna get into it is the title is um what, what's the title <laughs> burundi by far has the best yeah. dot 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 yeah burundi by far has the best and um if y'all want y'all could throw some guesses up there but um we won't let y'all know what it is soon family because uh you know, we've been to a lot of countries, you know, I, I don't even know, I don't even know the count, you know what I'm saying, yet. Um, but we experienced a lot in different countries, and I have to say that so far, what we experienced in Burundi is definitely number one on our list, family. I'm going to say that again, it's definitely number one on our list, family, yeah. So, uh... Yeah, before we get to all of that, though, and let y'all know, you know, we we going to let some time pass. Y'all could guess if y'all want. I know Aaron likes to fish. Best cost of living. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Vin Otha is the place to be tonight. You should check it out. Oh, yeah, Vin Otha. Yeah, you know what? If my allergies wasn't kicking me in my behind right now, I would definitely check that out. Matter of fact, we still might check that out. Vin Otha, it's like a, uh, I think it's like a club or something. Matter of fact, I might leave y'all home and then I might go by my... No, I'm playing. <laughs> Look at the wife's face. I got it on you. I got it on you so they can see your face. Yeah. But, um... Uh, uh, yeah. But after that, I'll probably go to church. You know, I could go to Venotech. Then we, I could see if there's a, a revival or something going on. Yeah. 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 How about that? That's somebody who just wants me to have a good time. That's all. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Just have a nice it's little a good time. Bar. I might the bring the family bar. with me. How about that? We just go as a big, happy, unapologetic family. How about that? Venotech is the wine bar. Rest. See a wine. There you go. Look at my wife. Look at her. Look at her. You look at her. That's right. Vino, vine, vin. Yeah. Now that's a good one. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Wine connoisseur. I will probably stay at home and watch Walking Dead. No, just play. We don't want you watching shows like that. That's a little too grown for you. The Walking Dead. I just started watching The Walking Dead, everyone, from season one. Uh, it's, 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 yeah. it's a good show. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah, I see. <laughs> yeah, yeah. My boy, he, he texts me about the Vino Tech. You know what? I definitely want to check it out. Um, let me see how I feel after we eat this meal, family, and then we'll then check it out. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so we'll see what's up. My wife, she loves wine. And, um, yeah, we're going to see what's up. Okay, so, and the day is Wednesday, so they say Wednesday's the best day to go. All right, best Wi-Fi connection. You know what? I'm not going to lie, family. Burundi truly does have good streaming connection. Oh. Like, the streams here are, like, they be good. You know, I be on one bar. You know what I'm saying? I be on one bar, and the stream is still good. Yeah, The Walking Dead gets bad after three seasons. I'd have to disagree about that, family. I have to disagree. Dude, the Walking Dead is my show. That's my guilty pleasure, yeah. Miss Lady, what kind of wine do you prefer? I'm a red sweet kind of person. I don't really do white wine. White wine is for beginners, I think. But I, I like reds. That sounds a little racially motivated. No, I'm playing. Red? Uh, I'm red sweet. I'll drink dry. If there's no sweet, I'll do dry. And um, I prefer, I prefer 
Nothing against anywhere else, but South African wine is off mm. the chain. They yeah. make some of the best wine. So you're saying South African wine is number one? Yeah. To me. They make really, really good wine. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So was it? I feel offended. Yeah, they must, they must be offended. a white wine drinker. <laughs> Peace for all. Said, I feel offended. Uh, yeah. It must be a... You must be a white wine drinker, I assume. Yeah. You said that right, right You've hurt Felix. <laughs> No. Shout out to uh, India, you know what I'm saying, for yeah. for really yeah. supporting and watching our channel like they do. I mean, right. no lie, family. Uh, India is killing the game on our channel are. as far as people watching it, you know. They but shout know. out to y'all in the U.S. because we, we appreciate y'all as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, in the U.S. But India is really, uh, I don't know what it is about us. It, they probably like Ayla. They probably like Ayla. Thank you very much. <laughs> but shout out to all the Indian yeah, brothers and sisters out there who are watching our channel. Shout out to everybody watching our channel from yeah. the islands, from uh, Africa, Burundi. Shout out to uh, Tanzania, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Egypt, um, North Sentinel Island. Yeah, everywhere, family. Australia. Cali is in the building. Shout out to Cali, man. You know, my old stomping grounds used to be San Diego for like a good two years, family. Yeah, I was down there in San Diego chilling. I used to go up to LA. Yeah. SC is in the house as well. Shout out to you, family. <laughs> That's right, always in the house. Yeah. Shout out to Mr. Hype. Yeah, peace and love to you. Everybody who throws us cash apps, thank you so very much. We love and we appreciate you. Yeah. Shout out to everybody who supports. We got the one and only Mr. Hillary currently in the building. Yeah. I wish my lighting was better, but my lighting is off right now. Yeah, I can't even get it right. You know, I got this light behind me. Yeah, I should have got some lights. Yeah. When we were in TZ, they had like ring lights for the phone. I'm like, I was eyeballing it. I'm like, we should get that. We never got it. Shout out to the Seychelles. You know what I mean? And Nia Generational. Oh, man, I hit the wrong button on here. Hold on, family. Ah, uh, yeah. What's up, Mr. Hilly? What's going on in Trinidad? Yeah, what's the deal out there, man? Yeah. And the beautiful black folks in the building. Yeah. The light is okay enough, Aaron. Y'all, you sure? It look, like, dingy to me. I don't like I like my light a little crispier than this. It's a little, yeah, it's a little gloomy. Yeah, it look like a scary movie or something. I'm good. We got the one and only unknown tribe in the building, family. Yeah. Once we get to enough viewers, probably over 100, then we're going to tell you, um, um, what's the title? I keep forgetting it. <laughs> but what Burundi has the best, well, the title is Burundi has. By far the best. Burundi by far has the best, dot, dot, dot. Yeah, yeah. And this is going to be interesting because, like, once we let y'all know, you know what Burundi has the best of and we could really have a good conversation and talk about this family because this is really it's mind-blowing family that's all I'm gonna say I'm gonna, I'm gonna get the light off me because it's, it's kind of not crispy like how I like yeah. yeah but what's up with you beautiful wife like you've been here for a week so far um how you been doing everything been good I'm good um was getting adjusted to I guess I can talk about mosquitoes, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, of course, you know, there's water in this area. There's a huge, huge, beautiful lake. So, getting adjusted to the mosquitoes, you know, so there are mosquitoes here. Now, we, we're going to do a top five mosquitoes. The places with the top five worst mosquitoes, number one being the worst. And, and, and let me start, because y'all going to have weird stuff. Weird. All right. Weird stuff. Now... The top five, the countries with the worst mosquitoes, family. The top five, and this is in order. I'm going to have to put, um, let me see. All right. Louisiana. I believe that. I believe that because the, the state's got, I'm going to put Delaware there. Delaware got some bad mosquitoes. Yeah. Don't be thinking ain't nothing over there. Delaware got some bad mosquitoes. That's five. All right, four. Number one is the worst for me. Okay, yes, All right, number four. I got to say 
Cambodia. I got to say Cambodia. Matter of fact, maybe that's number three. That's number three. I'm putting that a little low. Yeah. All right. I put Rwanda up there. They be in your ears in Rwanda. They be in your ears. All right. So I got Burundi. No, no, no. Did I have Burundi yet? No. No, I ain't had it yet. I had uh, Delaware. I got um, Rwanda. <laughs> I got, I got Cambodia. No, no, I'm not Cambodia yet. I put Burundi there. Okay. Burundi at number three. All right. Then I got Cambodia. <laughs> Hold on, I didn't say Florida. You know what? I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take Delaware out number five and put Florida there, family. All right. Florida's high. Yeah, Florida is high. Hold on, family. I got to, I got to, uh, I got to recalibrate my list. Huh? We couldn't stand outside. You know what? Them first that first month was the worst month of my life with the mosquitoes. For real. Yeah, Florida got to get up there. They do got gnats. They got all kinds of stuff. Yeah. All right. My list. <laughs> Delaware's off the list. I gotta go with um Rwanda's up there. I'ma put Burundi up there as number four. Then I'ma go with uh <laughs> we ain't go to Zimbabwe yet. <laughs> Number four. All right. Then I'm going to go with Cambodia. Okay. That's my number three, Cambodia. Then I got to say Florida because Florida is horrible when it comes. That's, that's number two. Hold on. I forgot one. I forgot Zanzibar. All right. I got to take Rwanda or Burundi off of this list. I'm trying to think which one. Florida's terrible. See, uh, Annette knows. Annette knows. All right. I'm going to take Burundi off. We got Rwanda. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. All right. I'm going to hurry up with this because this is taking too longer than what I've, I've wanted to do. All right. I got Rwanda is number five. Or Burundi. It's about the same. Um, I got to put... Um, TZ up there. Damn, TZ is is. Matter of fact, TZ's number two for me. Oh, TZ's number two. Florida's number three. Cambodia is number four. Rwanda and Burundi's kind of the same for me. So that's number five. No one on my list with the worst mosquitoes in the world, family, is Earhart, South Carolina, <laughs> with. <laughs> This continent, don't even go there with that foolishness. That's foolishness. You got malaria on this continent. You ain't got no malaria in South Carolina. Don't go there with that. No, you have to recalibrate. I don't see how you didn't put that as number one when you got sick. How can you not put that when you got sick? How is that possible? Look, family. The birthplace of my wife got the worst mosquitoes, okay? Yeah. The place where you got sick is the worst. That's my list, okay? That's my list. Where you get your list together. Because your list is different than mine. If I got sick, that would have been the worst. I don't know how you cal cal calibrate that. I got sick with, with the Zanzibar one. That one gave me malaria, but that's number two. I said that was number two. That should have been number one. Uh-uh. No. Because your mosquitoes, I'm going to tell you why. A lot of mosquitoes, you get a bite here. You probably get two bites here. Well, hell, I got a whole rash here. And Earhart, it's, it's my turn, thank you. And Earhart, a hundred of them bite you at one time. And then the bumps, that, you know, the itch usually go away like one, maybe two days. If you put some, um, some tiger balm on there, Florida ain't, ain't worse than no South Carolina. It ain't worse than Earhart. Uh-uh. Well, Air Heart. Go to Air Heart. Them people never been to Air Heart. No, they ain't me. They ain't me. Uh-uh. No. But if y'all think I'm lying, visit Air Heart, South Carolina, and see. Please. The best mojitos are found in uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. Oh, yeah, let me expound. No. Let me oh, yeah. I'm gonna li li let's see Ayla's saying, list. Everybody's saying not Essie. No. Uh -uh. That ain't Because y'all ain't been to Earhart. Now, look. SC is big, family. I used to go to Earhart. 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 I used to go to
SC is big. You got beaches in SC. You got all kinds of. You got Columbia, Columbus. Is Columbus a part of AC? Yeah, Columbia. Columbia. Thank you. See, you have to go to this little town called Airport. They still got like, uh, it's like in the backwoods of South Carolina. It's very beautiful women. Like my wife, very beautiful. But the mosquitoes? Come on, man. Ain't nothing. I never experienced. Out of all the places I've been as a new man, nothing like Earhart, South Carolina. All right, Ayla, your turn. Again. I don't know what experience he had down there. But I used to stay down there for a month. That's because you're from there. That's just you. I'm not from, I'm from Philadelphia. Mr. Cool K. I'm <laughs> um, It's so many people disagreeing with you. That's one person. But how are you going to disagree on somebody's opinion? Please let me know. That's my personal uh, uh, opinion. Anyway. Yeah. That's besides. Let no. me get my list out. <laughs> well, all right, let's think. Number one being the first. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> and this is by experience, so I can get if that's his experience. That one mine. So let's start. Five being the word. Uh, uh, not that bad. <clears throat> Y'all say. You you can have, you got your own list, so you 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 do your own list. <laughs> you, you, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for cutting you off, Ella. <laughs> It's so, not going to be Philly or nowhere. Yeah, Philly. Yeah. How do they have a kid? <laughs> but, see, see, they experience different because I don't remember getting bit at all in Florida. <laughs> like, I don't remember mosquitoes in Florida, if I'm being dead honest. See, I was in La La Land. I was, like, seven. So I was in La La Land not paying attention to nothing. I was still eating chicken nuggets. That was a different time. So I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, let me think. I got to think it up. Okay. Let me go from number one down. It'll be easier. Number one. And that's the worst? That's the worst. That, from my experience. Cambodia. Because what the heck? I think it was racially motivated. The mosquito. <laughs> yeah, it's bad. Y'all, when I first got there, I want to say it was one leg. I counted. It had like 20-something bites. Yeah, it was bad. And I was mad. I'm like, you ruined yeah. my beautiful legs. I had spots everywhere. I'm like, excuse me? Okay. Yes, the food. Number two. Oh yeah, real quick. Um, we are at uh, Cup Line, which is one of my favorite restaurants. We're actually going to do a video on this restaurant um, coming real soon. This is a very wonderful restaurant. We uh, are acquainted with the owner. Very, very beautiful restaurant. Beautiful owner. And um, yeah, look at that. Is is that avocados? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Wow. What is wow. This? It's an avocado salad. It's called a mix. It's called a salad mix. But it has other things. It's an egg, avocado, onions, lettuce, carrots. I gotta like move some stuff out the way to see. Avocado, the dressing is beautiful. I've never seen a salad like that. Nice. Someone said that um, Tuskegee, Alabama. Now Tuskegee, Alabama sound like it got some bad mosquitoes. Yeah, it said my legs looked like I had a disease. But let me tell you, when I was in um, Earhart, South Carolina, the back of my neck looked like the back of a Nestle Crunch bar. Straight up, you know them little, the, like the little bumps? That's how the back of my neck looked, family. Oh, yeah. Number two. Number two is between South Carolina. Now, number one is Cam um, Cambodia. I'm trying to remember. No! Number one, Cambodia. Number two, Zanzibar. Yeah. I remember getting bit and I felt the immediate bite. That hurt. It, it, they burn. it burned. Like, and, and, it and Zanzibar, they burn. They the bites really burn. Like, like yeah. they really grub. The mosquitoes grub. Yeah. That salam ain't that bad, but like oh, Zanzibar, yeah. that's a whole different story, Jack. So, number one, Cambodia. Number two, Zanzibar. Number three, South Carolina. Number four, Rwanda. They stay in your ear. Yeah. yeah. And then Rwanda, I got to have that up there because one of them bit me on my lip and that <laughs> never, ever happened to me. <laughs> mm. Them ones in Rwanda, them, those, they, they annoy it. They annoy it. Yeah. Is that, that's your list? And number five. The last Earhart, South Carolina. Number five, the heck? Hold on, let me put, let me charge my... Yeah, but um, I think this place is, I think they about to close. So we're going to get right to the point. Um... I think we finished with the mosquito thing, so uh, 
Yeah. Matter of fact, I let my wife go because my wife, she, she really had it. Uh, uh, we had reached 100 at one point. Uh-huh. Well, yeah, sorry about that, fam. We back, though. Oh, yeah, mom does. Oh, Okay. So, what we going to do, my wife, she's going to say her list real quick of the top five worst mosquitoes in her life. And then we're going to tell you what Burundi has the best of. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Top five. I'm going to start with five. Being, <coughs> Being minimal on the list, but still making the list. So I'm going to have to go with, um, oh, let me see. I'm going to have to go with Delaware is yeah. number five. Mm. Yeah, Delaware. Delaware number four, I'm going to have to go with, um, wow. I'm going to have to put Burundi on the list because y'all got the mosquitoes here. Four? Yeah. Um, number three, I'm gonna go with Cambodia. <clears throat> no, no, no. Wait, let me retract that. Yeah. So I had what was number five? Five was, five um, was Delaware. Delaware. Four. Number four was really is surprising. Burundi. Number three is. I'm gonna have to go with. Uh, oh my goodness, Zanzibar. You got to make the list. Number three. Denzel Bars number three. Number two is going to have to be. Oh my goodness. Number two. <laughs> number two. What did I say for number four? Number three. Cambodia. I gotta move Cambodia up, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm um, stuck on this Burundi. You have a whole right of bikes. What is Zanzibar, then Cambodia, and then, oh man, the top, Florida. Okay, yeah. that's a good list. Cambodia and Florida. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking about experience. Yeah. <laughs> you see people like... When you born somewhere, the mosquitoes ain't gonna mess with you like that because they so used to you. Yeah. So when I go to Air Heart, they attack me. Mm -hmm. It's like a I'm going through a um, what you call them ceremonies you got to go through. Mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. it's like I'm going through an initiation every time I get there, family. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah. So today's show is titled Burundi by far has the best. And we want to let y'all know what it has the best of. <clears throat> now, since I've been here, I don't think I've experienced Well, let me let me let my wife do this. But I haven't experienced anything that was like real nasty. You know? I haven't experienced nothing real nasty. Um, I haven't experienced anything that's disgusting. Um, yeah, yeah, I haven't. No, no, I'm just saying. So I'm gonna um, let my wife explain what Burundi has the best of. A lot of people saying coffee. I don't know about that yet. I don't know about that. I got a, I got a, uh, matter of fact, we bought, my wife bought some um, Tanzania coffee and some, um, but she forgot to bring the uh, Rwanda coffee. So if anybody can ship us some Rwanda coffee, please do that. But um, yeah, before we get to it, please like and subscribe to our channel. We about to uh, hurry up and eat. But yeah, tell the beautiful people out here, the 106 people who's watching, what Burundi has the best of. Mm. They have some of the best food dishes. Yes. Yeah. And um, no disrespect to anywhere else, but what they do with seasoning on food, I don't understand it. It's amazing. Yeah. Like this right here, this salad is 
like this is the first place I've gone and I have had um, onions, raw onions that were seasoned. And I'm like, how did you do that? Like uh, mm -hmm. different flavorings for the onion. It might be, it tastes almost like a pickled onion or something. They are raw vegetables. The seasoning on the fish and like some of the best fish I've ever had. That what's that fish called? McKay K? Capitan. The Capitan. Wow. That fish is really amazing. I thought my husband was exaggerating before we got here when he um was talking about it. And he said, You got to even get a ticket to come taste the fish. And I'm like, What? So we get here and the fish. It reminds me of I don't know if you uh guys are familiar with bluefish. Um I think it's pretty rare, but you can find it in the US. Um, some people deep sea, you know, uh, fish, and they catch it. But it's like a meteor thing going on. It's more of a, like a texture like chicken. It's not like flaky like fish. And the way they cook it, it's very, very moist. And the seasoning, it's all that. It's all that. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. What you feel about the food, Edo? Yeah. Like, I haven't had nothing nasty. Everything been good. And they can fry some french fries. Mm. Like, everywhere can fry french fries good. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised, because usually some places, they have soggy fries. No. Mm. They can fry some fries. Mm -hmm. And they can season some food. Yes. And like they were saying, them raw onions. Mm. I have onions right now on my side. Mm. I wish mm. I had some onions on my Those, um, um, them onions be good. So yeah, they got some of the best food. And we yeah. ate at a few places, they all had good food. Yeah. 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 Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the uh, cook on that fish brochette. Like, I'm telling you, family. Burundi has some of the best food that I've tasted. And I, we went to a lot of countries. And it's not putting no countries down, it's just, that the food is just so much on a whole different level. It's, it's crazy. Because it, it be like simple stuff. It be like just onions. And it's like, they'll, they'll throw some seasoning on the onions or something. And it tastes it to a whole nother level, fam. I got to talk with the high voice. Because it, it, it tastes to a whole nother level. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but that's what it is today, family. I'm gonna let Alo or um, or Mickey take us out because it's too dark over here. I don't like the lighting how it how it's hitting me right here. But um, yeah, I'm gonna let them take us out. We appreciate y'all tuning in to the unapologetic no mads. And um, yeah, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all. And just remember, when you come to Burundi, definitely, definitely try all the dishes you possibly can. Yeah. All the fish, try everything you can. The goat brochettes, the singados, the capitan, and you won't, I repeat, you won't be upset. Yeah. Or lit down. Yes. Thank you for watching today, everyone. Thank you for the constant love and support. Shout out to you all, our family and friends everywhere in the U.S., UK and especially shout out to India once again. Like I'm really shook. I'm. Thank y'all for the views. <laughs> Thank you for watching and supporting. Man. Mm. This, it, these raw carrots got something going on. I don't understand. <laughs> I don't. I don't get it. This is the, the carrots. Mmm. Yeah. It's amazing. That look It's amazing. Mm. Mm. I'm sorry, I'm going to talk my mouth full, but thank y'all for tuning in. Mm. Going to finish this salad. And, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, and check out our featured products page on the website, unapologeticnomads.com. Um, we have some amazing creative um, artisans who um, have a lot of different, a variety of goodies on that page. Shout out to... Um, and Ayla's stealing my fry. Um, shout out to G&J Max and shout out to Lamps Plus Gallery. They're the two businesses that are advertising. 
um, on the on our pet, uh, future pro featured products page, and their contact information is there as well. Check them out. If you see something you like, just connect with them. Um, they have their contacts there. So definitely shout out to them. Mm. Hmm. And we don't unapologetic. No mask. And we unapologetic. Nomadic. Nomadic. All right, peace, family. One love. <laughs> I know I'm... <laughs>